for you. My name is Jim Nopeman. And you're with um, Safari Club International uh, Foundation, uh, Humanitarian Services Chairman. And would you like to comment on SCI Low Country? Oh, it, the SCI Low Country, it's, this is one of the best events I've ever been to. This is my third year coming down. Uh, Mark Peterson and his group, uh, the United States uh, Military, Marine Corps, Army, Air Force, you name it. Uh, big support. Uh, we have everybody that come here from Washington, D.C. Uh, we have a few from Texas. Uh, all up and down the East Coast, this is probably one of the uh, better chapter events uh, that I've been to. Um, and um, just to remind us, what, what are we doing here? Uh, well, this is a wounded warrior and uh, a youth hunt uh, for uh, children and, and veterans of the, the military and those that have cancer here uh, mm -hmm. and other uh, afflictions where they may not be able to get outside and do the fishing and the hunting. Uh, all the guides here will provide uh, uh, space and time for them to do it. And who volunteered for this? Uh, United States Marine Corps, uh, local business people, uh, news organizations. We have a whole bunch of people. How many guys do you have to volunteer? I uh, believe we have uh, probably over 20, 20 guys. I know we have 55 hunters mm -hmm. um, here at the event that Mark and them put on. Mark works diligently with the Marine Corps mm -hmm. uh, and uh, various vendors, uh, restaurants around the area. We have the, the best chefs in the uh, United States of America right here at uh, the Memorial uh, State. Uh, you know, put on a great lunch and a great time for all the wounded warriors, veterans, and the youth. And we're not too far from Paris Island, right? Uh, that's correct. We are not. We're in Yemisee or? Um... Uh, we are in Beaufort, South Carolina, uh, which is uh, where the uh, military base is located. Uh, we have the Naval Air Station uh, and uh, Paris Island Marine Corps Base. This is one of the largest bases that the Marine Corps have. Most of your uh, basic training for the United States Marine Corps is done right here at Camp Pendleton, California. And what does Wounded Warrior mean to you? Wounded Warrior means to me, uh, it's a person that never gives up, never stops believing in the United States of America, never stops believing that anything is, not, if, that anything is possible. Um, Wounded Warrior just means you just keep on trucking, no matter what your circumstances. And what kind of disabilities do these warriors, do these uh, hunters have today? They have everything from cancer to limbs blown off from IEDs. Um, uh, shoot, they've been shot. Uh, you name it, they've they, they've got it. Um, and uh, and how many tours do some of these guys do? Or uh, people some of these do? guys have done like three or four tours or more in Iraq, Afghanistan. A lot of your older guys have done tours in Vietnam. Uh, we have a lot of World War II veterans, uh, well, a few World War II veterans here today. We had a gentleman uh, here from the, that uh, actually participated in the Battle of the Bulb yesterday. Mm. I believe he's here today. That's amazing. And, and that's just amazing to just, uh, talk with that gentleman uh, and hear the stories he's got to say. Uh, my own grandfather served uh, 30 eight years in the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. was a uh, Master Gunnery Sergeant uh, in the United States Marine Corps and was also stationed here at Paris Island. So this event to me uh, brings it all home. All, we have a large uh, military contingent in my own family from Army to Coast Guard to Marine Corps. And what theater did he see? Uh, my father? Yeah. Uh, my father was in Vietnam. Uh, he's been to Grenada been to Panama, he's been to Afghanistan, Iraq, you name it. He was part of the 101st Airborne. Uh, uh, he was a D2 Command Sergeant Major, um, and he, he just retired uh, not too long ago, a few years back, uh, as an assistant U.S. Marshal, uh, located uh, out of Tallahassee, uh, Florida. And what part did SEA Low Country play in this event today? SCI Low Country helped with getting uh, the, all the all the sponsors, helped mark out, uh, donated uh, time, effort, volunteers uh, from both
both national and uh, local chapters uh, going around the different businesses. It, it's just a great event. Uh, and would you like to thank somebody, anybody in particular? I would really like to thank uh, the United States military um, for their participation, both Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, and Mark Peterson and his wife, Holly, um, and uh, the uh, people of uh, the greater South Carolina area, just for their, for, for their participation in the event. And just remind me of your name and position again. My name is Jim Noteman. I'm the Humanitarian Services Chairman for Safari Club International Foundation. Uh, our president is Joe Hosmer. Uh, who is uh, the chief cook and bottle washer of the whole thing, directs me in the right direction to go and allows me to come and uh, participate in these great events. And you were here last year, right? Uh, yeah, I've been here. This is my third year okay. of, of being here. Um, and every year I come back, I just desire to come back, and it, it gets better every year. And this is the 10th year? Uh, this is their 10th year. Okay. And that's that's amazing because a lot of organizations uh, fold yeah. uh, with different uh, veterans events they did just because they don't have the time uh, or the volunteers willing to step up and put it together. All right. Thank you.